Hello, pre-calculus students. This is Mr. McAllen speaking, and today we're going to talk about uh, day three of our unit six videos, and this is for the flipped classroom again. Um, we're going to talk about trig functions of any angle. So if I give you any angle and ask you to find a trig function for it, this lesson is foundational to understanding what to do in those situations. So there are a few things we have to do in order to set this up. So our objectives for today are to um, students should learn and be able to illustrate the following. You should be able to name an initial and terminal side of any angle. You should be able to figure out an angle um, for different types of rotations, positive and negative. You should be able to name co-terminal angles. You should also be able, if I give you an angle, to give me a complementary and a supplementary angle. So um, when we want to first start out and discuss um, angles, rotations, and measure, degree measure. So we have lots of angles in the natural world that are just, um, that we could see, but we don't have them sitting or in what's called the standard position. And a standard position is where we take that angle and we arrange it so that one of its sides is on the x-axis and its vertex is at the origin of the x-y coordinate plane. The final or terminal side would be where that other side of the angle ends up and the angle measurement would be the amount that that hand of the clock, if you would, had rotated from the initial side. So. We have two ways to characterize angles in standard position. We could call one a positive angle, and we could call one another one a negative angle. So let me just give you any old angle. For example, let's say that we have a 45 degree angle. Since we've been working with 45, 45, 90, so let's say that theta is 45. In standard position, I put its initial side on the x-axis, and its terminal side wherever 45 would take me. So let's say that this is 45. This would be considered a positive angle because the angle opened up uh, counterclockwise. This is just the convention. A lot of people say, well, why can't it be clockwise? But um, when you start at the x-axis and you rotate towards the y-axis in a counterclockwise fashion, that's called a positive angle. There's a way to name this angle, though, using a negative angle. I could have the same angle set up, and we know that's 45 degrees. But we could measure a negative angle in a counterclockwise in a clockwise sense, and this angle here would be equal to negative 315 degrees. So here's an example of one angle where we have a positive uh, angle value, and it also has a negative angle value, and it's still in standard position. Where again, standard position is where the initial side is on the x-axis and the terminal side is wherever the angle opens up to. The next item to discuss is this term called quadrantal angle. Now, the word quadrantal comes from the idea of quadrant lines. There are certain angles that are quadrantal, and those are ones who, to, whose terminal side lands on a quadrant line. So some examples. First angle, let's say, is 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle is our first quadrantal angle. Why? Because its terminal side lands on the y-axis. So then you say, well, if we have an initial side always on the x-axis, if we open up that angle to 180 degrees, that would be our second quadrantal angle. And our third quadrantal angle would be 270 degrees. And our last quadrantal angle from 0 to 360 would be 360 degrees. So my initial side is drawn and I'll draw my terminal side in red just so that you could see and there's a vertex there's a terminal side and there's the initial side and that angle is 360 degrees 
So those are four quadrantal angles that are positive. Now, what would the four quadrantal angles be that are negative? Well, you would just say for this first one, that would be negative, let me draw it in red. That would be negative 270 degrees. Our other one would be negative 180 degrees. And you understand the rest, this one will be negative 90 degrees. So those are examples of quadrantal angles with both positive and negative value. So now we're going to talk about coterminal angles. Coterminal means angles that share the same terminal side. I'll say that again. Angles in standard position, that means that they both have an initial side on the x-axis. Their vertex is through the origin they share the same terminal side. So, for example, let me draw an angle in standard position. My angle will be 120 degrees. A coterminal angle will share these same sides. So, um, what can you do to get a coterminal angle to be on that same initial and terminal side? You could do it, you could use a negative angle so you can measure back. So an angle of negative 240 degrees would be a coterminal angle. You could also go around the circle more than once. So there's 360. And if I add 120 degrees more, I have a coterminal angle of 480 degrees. So there are a variety of ways to get to a co to have a coterminal angle. So here's an example. We have a 60 degree angle. I'd like you to find, when I pause the video, an example of, let me just draw the angle, and I just erased the coordinate system, so I'm just going to try to undo that. So let me draw a 60 degree angle, and you come up with a coterminal angle. So I'm going to write coterminal to 60 degrees and then you put the angle in that space. I'm going to just pause the video and when I unpause the video you'll see one or more answer. Okay and we're back and two coterminal angles to 60 are 420 degrees I just went around the circle one more time. Remember, each time you go around a circle, you get 360 degrees added. So I went in the positive direction, and then I went in the negative direction, 360 degrees, and I got a coterminal angle to be negative 300 degrees as well. There are many, many, many possibilities of this. Actually, there are infinitely many possibilities to coterminal angles. Um, a lot of times on questions, when they ask a problem, they'll say, find an angle coterminal to negative 70 degrees um, between and they'll actually say between what angle values? They'll say between um, negative 360 degrees to 360 degrees. So they'll kind of um, hold off on hold you up on what how many answers you can give for this so i'd like you to try this i'm going to draw a negative 70 degrees so that we start out with the same starting point remember initial side is at zero and i go down 70 degrees so that's like negative 70. so you find two coterminal angles between negative 360 and 360 that satisfy being coterminal i'm going to pause the video Please answer that question, and when I come back, I'll see the answers. Well, I'm back, and I, there's actually only one angle that could do it because it's within this domain of from negative 360 to 360. So if I wind it back, I find that my one angle is 290 degrees, and that one works because I just rotate in the forward sense to the angle. Of negative 70 and in the other one if I rotate around backwards I get to negative 430 degrees so that actually would not be an acceptable solution because we said it has to be between negative 360 and 360 so 
make sure you watch out. If we didn't put that restriction on the answers, then we would accept 430 degrees in the negative sense. Um, in the last part of the lesson, we want to discuss uh, what the rule is. Actually, there are two more parts of this. We want to discuss what you think the rule for a coterminal angle is. So, for a coterminal angle, if I give you, if given angle A, what would you do with angle A to get a coterminal angle? So, what would the rule or mathematical sentence be? I want you to try to think of this. I'm going to pause the video, and when, I, when we come back, we'll discuss it. So we're back, and the rule would be to add or subtract multiples of 360 degrees. Um, this would, adding would be as if you're rotating clockwise or counterclockwise 360, Subtracting would be as if you were rotating backwards or going counter, uh, clockwise 360 degrees. So the mathematical sentence would just be look as simple as this. A coterminal angle would equal angle A plus or minus 360 degrees. And I'm going to put a little K here, and K would be an integer, meaning it would stand for a full rotation or an integer number of rotations um, forward or backwards for that angle. Last thing we'd like to discuss is complementary and supplementary angles. A rule for that is if you're given an angle, let's say angle A is equal to 210 degrees, I'm sorry, um, 10 degrees, and they say to find the complement or they say to find the supplement. Complements add up to 90 degrees. So um, angle A's complement, let's call that angle B, would equal, or we could put the complement to A, would equal 80 degrees. And the supplements always add up to 180 degrees. So the supplement to A would equal 170 degrees. Now these angles are positive, they're not negative, and they always, when you add them with the original angle, they've got to add up to either 90 or 180. I hope this video has helped you understand the lesson that we're working on for today, and tomorrow we'll work on plenty of problems and make sure you understand the concepts. Have a good day and look forward to your comments.